Good evening, good evening. We uh, sincerely apologize for those interruptions. Uh, we are having some uh, technical difficulties. Hope this time everything is going to be okay and uh, we are going to be safe. All right, so like uh, we earlier on um, stated, we have in the studios the COSU executive for Northern Province. And uh, these gentlemen are going to help us discuss what Zakosu is all about. And of course, uh, we are also going to discuss the forthcoming conference that will be happening on the 25th to 26th. All right, so we would appreciate very much if you can help share this live stream so that many others, because this concerns mostly the youths as well as uh, the students. So uh, we we'll appreciate so much if uh, you can share this live stream so that it can reach as many people as possible all right so to begin with uh, let us start with uh, the introductions we are going to begin with you sir yes mr glaris uh, my name is apiri thomas jr yes i am not only a member but holding a position of the northern province commission okay under a body called the zambia association of colleges students union Zambia Association of College Students Union in Abreves, it's Zakosu. Zakosu. Okay. And also we run an institution called the Zambia Youth Empowerment Cooperative Limited. Sure, sure. Thank Interesting. You. All right, next, who do we have? Uh, my name is Daniel Luhanga. Yes. I'm uh, the Zakosu Management Trustee. Okay, interesting, interesting. Then uh, last but not the least. Uh, thank you so much. My name is uh, Pasco Kashimbaya, and I'm the Secretary General for Zakosu at uh, provincial level. Okay, interesting. All right, so uh, that is uh, those are the gentlemen that we have in our studios, and uh, of course, uh, without even uh, wasting much of the time, we are going to get into this. But before that, let us just go for a short break, and when we come back, we get to understand what Zakosu is all about. Lono Studios cares about your memories and what better way to keep your memories than having pictures and videos. As Lono Studios, we cover events such as weddings, kitchen parties, chilanga mulilo, birthday parties, as well as corporate events. If you are looking for quality pictures and videos for such events, look no further than Lono Studios. Visit and like our Facebook page at Lono ZM. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we are still here at uh, Lono Studios and of course uh, joined by uh, Zakosu executive members who are going to share with us what Zakosu is all about. So uh, gentlemen, we are going to begin with you, Mr. Yes. Thomas. Yes. Yes. So uh, what, what is Zakosu exactly? Okay. What would you so, describe it to be? Okay. Thank you so very much for the question. Initially, I'd love to take this rare latitude to sure. appreciate the Lunar Management Team mm -hmm. sure, sure. for according us a rare uh, uh, latitude mm -hmm. for according us a rare uh, latitude to present what we have as an association. Um, thank you so very much as well for the great works that you're doing as an association. I mean, as an institution. Sure, sure. Because that which you're doing is a simply a medium that allows us to disseminate information in all the 12 divides of Northern Province and uh, Zambia at large. So uh, Zakusu is simply an institution that was formed seven years ago. Okay. And uh, Zakusu has been working in complementarity and cooperatively with uh, various entities in the country and outside particularly to raise awareness on many and issues affecting the students and the youths, to be more precise. Okay. Zakusu simply act as an intermediate between the government as well as the youths and the students. We find out the challenges affecting in our communities like here in Northern Province. We want to understand what problems are the youths facing, what problems are the students facing, and once we communities to understand politically the challenges affecting in their respective regions. We as an institution or rather association have been able to address uh, these challenges before the government offices with simply an intention or a specific purpose of finding solutions. Okay, all right, interesting. 
Okay, okay. So uh, perhaps maybe uh, you've, you've almost explained uh, very well. I mean, you've almost explained everything that uh, Zakosu is all about. So uh, perhaps maybe we'll get to you, Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel. And um, what, what really inspired the formation of uh, Zakosu? Like, why was this? Uh, was uh, why was this uh, institution? Okay, Okay, so the institution basically stands uh, from the ground of uh, the challenges that the youth are facing nowadays, because uh, the previous years you've been seeing people getting uh, loans, getting empowerment, but there's no change. Okay, so Zakusu, uh, has he explained? Uh, has some initiatives that people need to uh, really look at to say why do we need people? Why are we suffering when we have we have you, you have me? Why are we suffering? So we need people like you, people like him, people like let's come together, let's work together, looking at the challenges that we're having because uh, you can find that uh, I might have a challenge. And someone out there is having a solution. Let me talk about unemployment just for a short brief. Okay, so uh, look at the rise of unemployment in Zambia. Basically, let's look at Kasama because there are a lot of uh, youths that are, are graduates. But you find that the era that we are in, you find that someone who has only a grade 9 certificate is the one that has been given an opportunity of which someone accordingly needed to be given, the opportunity needed to be given to someone who's a graduate. So that does not promote uh, equality. So as a person, we're trying to, uh, we're trying to destroy that error. Yes. Okay, perhaps uh, you've uh, highlighted that um, Zakuso has been in existence for over seven years now. And um, some of us have not heard of uh, Zakuso, and we are only hearing it about it now, per se. And I believe some other people out there can say the same. And uh, perhaps maybe, uh, Secretary, you can explain what uh, this organization has been doing all this what does what are its operations per se what does it deal in all right uh, thank you so much zakosu as usual and as uh, they've explained it plays a very pivotal and uh, vital law in uh, the lives of uh, youths because uh, in bemba we say imiti kula empanga and our education system determines the human capital that we can have in the country upon which uh, our economic emancipation can uh, dwell. So we as Zakosu, in the recent past, we, ex we, ob we observed uh, quite a number of issues that made us to come together and uh, begin working towards those challenges. And some of the challenges that we observed were there are issues when uh, students are crying out for something to okay. the government, and yes. the government never used to hear them. Okay. This brought about uh, a lot of commotions. Of course, and including with, uh, riots. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Now, we stood from across the country, mm. and uh, we stood upon one thing. Okay. We wanted to be sharing a common view on mm. how things should be done, as uh, even we seek uh, guidance and uh, intervention of the government. All right. So we have actually been very vibrant mm -hmm. in uh, working in that direction. Okay. All right. Interesting. So um, again, maybe, yes. So again, maybe just to, to, to get back to you. Um, you he has talked of um, the intervention by yes, the, the general uh, body. Exactly. Apart from just, um, uh, we, we, we have things like Unzasu, yes. 
kubusu for the copper belt we have yes. unzasu for unza yes. and uh, so many other colleges and uh, universities yes. having these bodies mm -hmm. so do all these um, colleges uh, associations answer to zakosu like are they aware that such a body exists that's a very powerful question mr mm -hmm. clarius thank you so much sure um Zakusu is a mother body for, like we say, the colleges and the institutions. Yes. And I want to make it known to the public, to the concourse out there, that we have mm -hmm. currently two registered bodies okay. that represent institutions such as colleges and, and uh, universities. Sure. And that is uh, Zanasu. I want to believe that you've heard of Zanasu yes. before. Yes. And we have Zakusu. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are not restricting uh, which institution should belong to Zakusu or Zanasu. Okay. It is uh, dependent entirely in sued upon a particular institution okay. to belong to any of these two bodies. All because right. like we said, we like you address the issue of uh, Kobosu yes. and we have Unzasu. Mm -hmm. Those are simply micro unions that represent students at institutional level. Okay. But the yes. two institutions, which is Zakusu and Zanasu, are representing students at national, national level, level, all the 10 divides. Okay, so if perhaps, let's say, Kasama College of Education yes. have a problem, yes. uh, do, you, do you have yes. an office where these yes. guys can bring their issue to exactly. and be assured that their issue is going to be addressed and taken to higher authorities? Yes, exactly, Mr. Clarius. Like okay. we said, Zakusu is a registered body. Mm -hmm. We have permanent offices here in Northern Province, specifically okay. Kasama. Okay. And uh, I should mention mm -hmm. that uh, all the over uh, seven or eight institutions mm -hmm. in Northern Province, in Porokoso, in Chilubi, in Mbala, in Kasama, all these institutions mention these institutions are falling under Zakusu. They are registered bodies sure, under sure. Zakusu. Okay. They address the challenges uh, through their union uh, spectrums before us as an institution. Mm -hmm. And we who are acting as an intermediate have actually been able to sit in a position to address these issues to okay. the relevant authorities in government, such as the Ministry of uh, Education as well as the Ministry of General Education. All right. And uh, perhaps maybe let's get to you, Mr. Uh, Luhanga. Yes. yes. And um, uh, it is mentioned that uh, schools such as uh, uh, colleges and universities can uh, hear their issues to the COSU so that uh, they can also be taken to the, these higher offices. Perhaps maybe we, we would love to, others may, may want to know, even me, um, what, what exa who does Zakosu, as well as uh, you talked of the Youth uh, Empowerment Cooperative, who do you guys work with? Because uh, perhaps people would want to know where do you get your powers to do all these things. Like they talked of Jesus to say, <laughs> where exactly do, does this man get his powers to do these things? Okay, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So our powers are driven by ourselves. Okay. okay as youths. Okay. With sure. the help of the government of the day, which is, and uh, support from everyone who is interested. Sure. So sure. Uh, Zakusu. Uh, is uh, an open, it's an open book for everyone to access. It's not restricted mm -hmm. to say this is uh, specifically for these people. No, specifically okay. Zakusu is Hello? for everyone. All right. Okay, so uh, we operate under the basics. We have rules, we have uh, guidelines. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, where we can help and uh, where we can also refer. Because sure, sure. Uh, we all need to be guided by s something. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Let me just chip in to... Sure, you can, you can go ahead. Let me just chip in to allude to what he has just explained. We derive our authority mm -hmm. from uh, the Constitution because it is our constitutional right sure, sure. Uh, to assemble because there is a freedom of, of assembly. And uh, we have met all the prerequisite requirements for us to, uh, to gather in this manner. Okay. Because we have, uh, this is a course which is registered, by the way. Sure, And sure. Uh, from there, we drive our, our tenacity. Okay, interesting, interesting. And of course, uh, maybe you can add on. I also mention, uh, like we said, Mr. Clarice, that mm -hmm. uh, 
like he, our, our my two colleagues have mentioned, mm -hmm. we are a registered entity okay. that has been in existence for over seven years. And uh, by virtue of us uh, holding the ability to derive inspiration mm -hmm. from the uh, formulated uh, constitution, we have been mandated or been authorized by the government uh, of the Republic of Zambia through the Ministry of Higher Education as well as the Ministry of General Education mm -hmm. to address uh, the various challenges affecting our students. Okay. And like we said, we're not only members belonging to Zakusu, mm -hmm. but we also belong to a body called the Zambia Youth Empowerment Cooperative Limited, okay. a body that has been working tirelessly to address mm -hmm. issues affecting the youths generally through the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Child Development. Hello? Okay, all right. Perhaps maybe you can also get hold of that mic. All right. So um, you've talked of uh, the Youth Empowerment Association. Exactly. Zambia Youth Empowerment Cooperative. Cooperative. Yes. Okay, interesting. And uh, maybe what what are some of um, what are some of um, what are the achievements of the bodies that uh, you represent? Okay. Maybe that, uh, Mr. Okay, so some of the achievements that we've actually had mm -hmm. is uh, we have an um, we have an open space for people like we give advice, okay. like we give advice to youths mm -hmm. who wants to get maybe an empowerment. Okay, Someone wants there, to there, that okay. that's where things actually get interesting. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you want to get an empowerment, sure. Okay. So you are free to ask us mm -hmm. to say if i am to get this amount of money mm -hmm. basically on what we understand what we believe in mm -hmm. we don't want someone to get an empowerment and then three two four years that person is not seen sure no. sure we want if that person gets an empowerment there has mm -hmm. to be a change people have to know that this person has made uh, a change because if you are able to make a change, mm -hmm. you will change the lives of everyone in the community. Sure. So sure. as Zakusu, we give out information mm -hmm. based on experience mm -hmm. and from what we've actually had to encounter. Okay. Yes. All right. Ma, maybe the, the secretary can uh, can also come in. Uh, continuing with uh, with the with the same question okay. that um, he asked. We have uh, achieved quite. Uh, a number of achievements okay. as uh, Zakosu, mm -hmm. and uh, one of them being uh, the tranquility in the institutions. Okay. In the recent past, you would bear with me that there used to be riots because yes, yes. there were misinformations. You know information is power, and Very how much. you uh, channel that information matters mm -hmm. how the recipient is going to actually respond. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, been acting as intermediators between uh, institu um, institutions yes. and uh, the, the, the government. Okay. Where the uh, students get it wrong, we intervene and clarify to say, no, the intention of the government for them to do this and that, it's actually this. this and that. They don't really mean to differentize you, so <laughs> just be calm. Okay. By way of doing that, we are actually promoting peace. Sure, uh, sure. Yes. So interesting. So uh, maybe Mr. Thomas, uh, they have talked of uh, you giving guidelines about uh, youth empowerment. Yeah. And um, maybe, you have maybe state where your offices are found because okay. uh, very soon we heard of uh, youth empowerment and a lot exactly. of youths did not get the information uh -huh. that was needed for them to apply for such. Yeah. Others were told it, they can no longer apply. Exactly. Yes. Um, our, our office is uh, opposite uh, Works and Supply. Works and Supply. Works and Supply. Okay. I'm sure people know where Works and Supply is here in okay. Kasama. So, uh, like you have said, mm -hmm. uh, we as an association, as well as a youth cooperative, mm -hmm. has been, uh, you know, uh, working to improve uh, the welfare of our Zambian communities through, like, what my colleague here has stated, that we create a platform where the Zambian concourse, mm -hmm. or the youths precisely, can come and learn about the various uh, youth empowerment packages that government is yet or has been displacing okay. looking at the past regime. Okay. Mr. Clarius, our um, activities 
uh, simply lying on grounds that many uh, youths mm -hmm. in Zambia and in the province particularly do not fully understand the concepts that comes with the formulation of cooperatives. And yes. if they were to form youth cooperatives, mm -hmm. they do not understand what is required of them to build... What's next what after, next the, cooperative after is the cooperative formed. is formed. Because, you know, the problem comes in where mm -hmm. the government, especially in this period, yes. where the government now has increased the CDF allocation to yes. 25.7 uh, million, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah and that's there's true. a package reserved for the youth. Mm -hmm. And the greatest emphasis, if you know, uh, from the government has been Please form cooperatives. Form cooperatives. Form cooperatives. Yes. form cooperatives. That has been the message. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at the number of youths in the country. How many youths do we have? A so lot. The, the, the many youths that we have in the country now, especially mm -hmm. in Northern Province, believe mm -hmm. that it is only when you form a cooperative that's that when you can able to, get that's when you can get the funds and be yes. able to grow. Yes. But we have also come to our great realization mm -hmm. that even the cooperatives that are formed and continue to form mm -hmm. do not politically understand the basic functionalities of, of the, the cooperative because many would just say yeah. let us form a cooperative yeah. yes and uh, get funding exactly. so the basis of forming exactly. a cooperative is simply yeah. to get funding like, exactly exactly okay. that is just one of the issues like you said we mm -hmm. address we help people understand why cooperatives should be formed mm -hmm. and uh, what is exactly the uh, process of acquiring these uh, youth uh, empowerment packages being sure. displaced by government my colleague also mentioned that we have achieved quite a number of activities mm -hmm. uh, representing the students. Mm -hmm. He talked about the issue of peace, is it tranquility, like he mentioned. Yes. We have always worked in complementality. We have created a healthy channel mm -hmm. uh, with school management in Northern Province and okay. in all the 10 divides of Zambia mm -hmm. to find out what exactly are the problems faced by the students, mm -hmm. who is involved in helping the students grow or understand what steps they should take to develop their institutions and the communities which they belong to. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So uh, the, the main reason why we are here is uh, because of the forthcoming uh, exactly. conference. So perhaps maybe Mr. Uh, Luhanga, can you perhaps just uh, give us a glimpse of uh, what exactly this conference is all about? Okay, so this conference is uh, going to bring out uh, different sectors and different uh, managements, different areas. So basically, we are going to add what we call ideas together. Okay. Okay. So we've folded our hands for so long, so we need to open our hands. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, we need young people to so solve solutions. We need problem solvers okay mm -hmm. so it's been high time people started solving youths precisely start solving uh ideas for themselves sure, and i sure. mean we don't stand alone we stand together mm -hmm. just like uh the late pr president kaunda said uh divided we fall together, together we, we stand. stand so if we're able to stand based on uh what the president that's why he was able to conquer the independence is because they fought together sure but sure. now we've seen an era whereby people have started uh being independent mm -hmm. of which being independent we are going to fall mm -hmm. so we are saying in the conference people are going to come from different sectors okay going to address different matters so from those different matters we are going to find solutions exactly. based on uh, that True. conference okay yes. and uh, may, uh the, the the secretary there uh who is invited to this conference who is going to attend this conference what is the eligibility of someone to attend this conference well uh, thank you so much uh it is an uh, open event for everyone yes. so the qualification is uh, simply somebody being a human being Okay, yes. okay. I love the description. <laughs> All right, a very good description. And um, what, 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 what are they supposed to come with? When they are coming, what should they be ready for exactly, Mr. Okay. Thomas? Thank you so much, Mr. Clarius. Mm -hmm. uh, for the event slated mm -hmm. for the 26th of February 2022, yes. we have written to all the institutions by, by the way. Mm -hmm. And there are only two things that we are requesting all the institutions to do. Okay. And that is number one to draw down a report mm -hmm. addressing challenges affecting in their various institutions. Okay. And secondly, 
writing a report mm -hmm. on the problems first in their particular districts okay. or where the schools are located mm -hmm. and also determine solutions mm -hmm. that now these institutions, these students Means. and youths think mm -hmm. are worthy of being injected into the system for the new Don government to help realize change. We know and we are aware yes. that the current government is moving at a jet-like speed mm -hmm. in their discourse mm -hmm. to improve the youth lifestyles or the uh, youth uh, communities' lifestyles. Sure. And sure. Uh, by so doing, mm -hmm. we are now creating a platform, Mr. Clarius, mm -hmm. for all the youths in the province to come together and embrace each other through the spirit of Ujama, the okay. spirit of Ubuntu, yes. the spirit of understanding well what is it that is causing northern province not to develop. We understand one of the greatest challenges we have in the province, not the country, but the province, yes. is that we don't have industries. Yeah, that we don't is, have that industries. Is very true. We have institutions or schools that are growing, mm -hmm. and every year all these institutions are living out, pumping out students. Yes, yes. And all these students are becoming graduates who are completely mm -hmm. doing nothing in the community. Yes, you see? that is true. So what we will be doing on this very day, what we want these students to do on this day is simply to suggest possible measures on how these graduates mm -hmm. should grow this province yes. without entirely And perhaps depending. maybe that leads me to, 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 to yes. the question. Yes. Uh, are, are these graduates that schools are bringing in, into society really <laughs> doing enough yes. to help grow or rather yes. develop a uh, northern uh, province? Uh, maybe I leave it to my SG. Yes, <laughs> the SG. Do you think the students that are coming out of schools as graduates are really helping to develop uh, the province? And if they are, how are they doing that? If they are not, why do you think they are not doing what they're supposed to do? Okay. I would say to some extent they are doing enough. Okay. Because uh, if they do what they're supposed to do and the government doesn't come in yes. to help out, mm -hmm. there can't be any progress. So okay. with them, they and mm -hmm. they have much needed knowledge yes. to improve the country. Mm -hmm. What has to be done is now the government to provide the platform upon yes. which they can start building themselves. Okay. All right. All right. Interesting. Interesting. And uh, Mr. Hal uh, Luhanga, yes, uh, he's talked of uh, the government providing um, a platform where now these graduates can uh, actually do what they are supposed to do. Do you think uh, graduates uh, have the, the required skills on which they can execute? Maybe perhaps if the government was to come up with an industry, do you think we have graduates who are skilled enough to execute the works that might be required to run industries as well as work in those industries? Yes, basically no one in this world is born without a skill. Mm -hmm. Believe me, being in school or being out school graduate or not no graduate everyone is born with something so we want that something in someone mm -hmm. we want zambia to zambia at large to be mm -hmm. producing not only kasama but yes. zambia at large to be producing something mm -hmm. outside the country yes. we have been longingly depending on uh, what is input not mm -hmm. the output one yes. so we want to destroy that era whereby we, we start depending on if I finish school, I'll be employed. Mm -hmm. We want people who are able to say, I'll start a company, I'll employ other youths. Yeah. So okay. basically looking at what everything is standing for, mm -hmm. youths are capable, we can, we will, we, 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 we have to. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just to add on. Uh, yes, sure. My great leader. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a practical example of an institution that we have in Northern Province. Yes. Down at the heart of Kasama, which mm -hmm. is Lokashi Trades. Yes, Lokashi, Lokashi Trades. Trades is an institution that provides skills yes. to the concourse, to the mm -hmm. youths in the remote parts of the province and outside. Mm -hmm. And That's in the true. recent years, Lokashi Trades has been able to offer schools. Huh, yes, recurling. yes. I am a product of Lukashi Trades. Oh, I've interesting. I've done my interesting. general agriculture there. Okay. I have the skill. During our period, mm -hmm. we have more than, we had actually more than 2,000 mm -hmm. students that benefited from, from Lukashi Trades program, yes. through the African Development Fund. Mm -hmm. Here is my great leader who has acquired a skill mm -hmm. at Lukashi Trades. Mm -hmm. He has a skill in repairing 
engines or is it vehicles? Well, well, this yes. man has got the skill, but he's not employed. Yes. But what we are addressing to the government is not to create employment for us. No. Yes. We want the government to create an enabling or enabling environment, like mm -hmm. my great leader stated. Yes. For us, people like him who have a skill, he runs mm -hmm. his own company. Yes. He runs his own company. Okay. And he's not like someone who is hired by a particular company no, no, to no. work for a company and get only bans at the end of the day. <laughs> this is the man who is doing things of his own. Yes. He's been able to contract projects. I'll give you a, s uh, a practical example of what you're doing here as Luna TV. Sure, sure. Luna TV is not hired by the government. No, no. Luna TV all. is a private institution mm -hmm. that is uh, uh, running, realized by the youths. Yes, by the sure. youths, whether one or two or three. Mm -hmm. These are the people who had at some point the ability to turn the intangible forces of life mm -hmm. into a practical reality. That is what we want. Mm -hmm. And simply we are addressing the government simply that what we simply request from them is a platform where all these youths now should begin to grow through the attend skills. Okay, all right. So uh, you've talked of youths like him who are doing what they can. He's talked of uh, uh, youths um, doing enough uh, whatever they can to make sure that they bring development. So perhaps would you say the government is to blame for, 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 for lack of development in, in Northern province? Though we cannot uh, entirely uh, blame the government, mm -hmm. but to some extent, we need to blame them. Okay. But the blame goes to both uh, ends. Mm -hmm. Okay, how, 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 how does it go to, to, to the youths? Because uh, youths are getting educated, like yourself. You are educated, you have the skill, and you decided to form up something of your own. The, uh, how, how, do you, how do we blame you for not developing? Okay, so uh, this is the inability to mm. think. Okay. Just the inability to think. Mm. Okay, so I'm not saying you can't think. Sure. I'm saying... What we are thinking mm -hmm. is not what is required. Okay. okay. So you find someone, a youth, who's spending hours on Facebook, mm -hmm. maybe just watching something that someone else uh, invented. Created. Yes. yes. You have an invention in your head saying, okay, I would like this bank to have such and such uh, a platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have an idea inside. Mm -hmm. So as a youth, if you can't say, I will do this, Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't start from national level. No, it starts from an individual. Okay. So if I can't wake up and say, uh, today I have to make a change, change won't come easy. Change won't come easy. Okay. Yes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So right about now, let us go for a short break. And uh, when we come back, we get uh, to discuss more with uh, the Zakosu executive members. We show you how the face of Kasama has changed each and every moment. Our production crew has now advanced in streaming live in full HD up to 4K. Lono Studios is well equipped for the service. We have 4K cameras for high resolution, DJI drone for aerial view, live streaming video switcher, gimbal for smooth rotation of an object and many more equipments. You can book us for live streaming to render your services in sport activities, church services, road shows, corporate meetings and workshops, social gatherings and many more adventure activities. Book your session now on 0973-173461. Visit or like our Facebook page at Lono TV. Love. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, staying tuned. All right, so uh, right about now, allow me to go through some of the comments that we have been receiving. And uh, we have uh, one from Chiza M. Bewe who is saying, you are bringing out exactly the points. Keep up with the good work. I believe that is to, to you guys. And uh, we also have another one from uh, uh, Chiza also saying, this is indeed powerful leaders. Together we can. 
and uh, we also have uh, Suwilanji na Mwinga who is saying watching from Kasama indeed uplifting the land of Northern Province. Thank you so much. And uh, we have uh, Nchimunya who is saying watching from Lusaka. Thank you so much. I I, I really hope uh, that those that are watching can share this live stream so that we can have many more others benefit from the information being articulated by uh, these uh, intellectuals we are having in our studios. All right, so moving on. Um, talking of uh, trade schools like Lukasha, we've talked of... Uh, there are so many trade schools that we have in Northern Province. Exactly. And um, we have so many people graduating from these trade schools. Would you say... Um, Having more trade schools would be one thing that uh, Northern Province can benefit from if the government was to bring in more trade schools where uh, youths can be trained with skills. Leadership. The answer in capital letters is a big yes. Okay. It is imperative and of uppermost importance mm -hmm. for the government to realize the need to come up with more trade institutions. Okay. For a very simple reason. Mm -hmm. It is not everyone who is going to have an opportunity to go to Onza. Yeah, that's true. That's we have true. our youths in the remote parts of Northern Province, mm -hmm. precisely, who have not had the privilege to have all the funds available to, to them. attend education or to acquire skills through those big institutions. Yes, that's but true. But if we bring closer the institutions the people of Zambia, like we have done in Northern Province, the government has done mm -hmm. like with Lukashi Trades, we also have Isoka Trades. If you go to Impika, you have Impika Trades, mm -hmm. Lusaka, you have Lus Lusaka Trades and others. But these trade institutions are not enough. Okay. We are simply calling upon the government to realize the need to come up with more trade institutions okay. so that they could be able to provide a skill to our underprivileged or youths in these respective geographical territoriums all of right. Zambia. All right, all right. Mr. Uh, the, the SG there. Uh, perhaps maybe just re, uh, re, a reminder of the name. Of Pasco. Mr. Pasco, Mr. Pasco, all right. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Pasco, uh, we are talking of trade schools. But uh, if we go back a little bit, uh, before the trade schools, there are these tad TAR programs that uh, the government introduced where we have um, stu uh, pupils. Yes, pupils learning skills uh, way back when they're just in high school yes. before they even get to colleges and uh, universities. Do you think these uh, things are really helping? Because you find that someone has learned uh, GMD, then when they go to university, they are doing something else. Maybe they go for medicine. Do you think these programs are really needed in schools? Uh. It is uh, quite um, ambiguous. Yes. So I would to say, yeah, it's important okay. that we have uh, such skills. Mm -hmm. And again, on the other hand, it's important that uh, we focus on one thing because consistency is what uh, bling, uh, brings about uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. You cannot have one aid doing more than uh, uh, four things and you expect progress and the development. It can't work out. Okay. And I should add, Lydia. Yeah, maybe you can also uh, add. You see... Uh, in the prefix, government mm -hmm. came up with this idea, you mm -hmm. see, where while a student or a pupil is mm -hmm. in school, uh, funds are released for that particular pupil yes. to attend a certain skill mm -hmm. with an embedded M that once he or she, once Musonda Msonda yes. or Mulenga Thomas completes his secondary or her secondary education, uh, education mm -hmm. he or she should have a privilege if in an event that Musonda or Thomas mm -hmm. do not have a privilege or an opportunity to attend or go to school, mm -hmm. he or she should be able to use that particular skill to build their lives in the communities. Okay. But my great leader, these are just in documents. Yes. If yes. you come to the ground, you come mm -hmm. on the ground, you see what is happening. These skills are not being fully used by those who have attended them yes. to realize a development mm -hmm. in their communities at family level, at community level, and at nation level. Mm -hmm. Many, 90% of those that have been under the two-tire program, mm -hmm. these are people that you have seen, like he has said, going to do other things. <laughs> you see, That's someone 
has attained a skill in automotive mechanics, mm -hmm. they reach a level to say, ah, I think they I, I deserve to be a doctor or I deserve, <laughs> I need to be a teacher. Now that the government is going to mm -hmm. employ over 30,000 uh, teachers, mm -hmm. there is this uh, dire need by so many people in the country believing that now teaching is the only fraternity where we should send our, 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 children. our, our children. While yes. that's true, I mean, what, while that child has also another skill mm -hmm. that could be used to convert what is unseen in a particular province like northern province mm -hmm. into that which is seen and be able to create opportunities mm -hmm. for the so many people. Okay. Why do you think that those that have gone to school mm -hmm. today have not been able to develop their communities precisely? Mm -hmm. Why do you think, Mr. Clarius, that those that are within northern province, the graduates, have not been able to use the natural resources around that here are available. with the obtained skills mm. to build industries or mm. to turn the intangible forces into a practical realities. Okay. These are questions that we continue to ask. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lohanga. Yes, uh, talking of um, people not using the skills that they obtain, they end up doing something else. Uh, do you think uh, our youths are more focused on white collar jobs that uh, they, they, they that is the reason why they are neglecting some of these skills that they can use to actually develop themselves as well as develop northern province at large uh, basically we've been raised with uh, knowing that mm -hmm. if you're not educated you won't get a good job yes so it starts way back from our roots mm -hmm. okay so this has been happening for quite some time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Few, okay. Few mm -hmm. have been saying you don't have to get a white collar job for you to be successful in life. Yes. There are many artists, many businessmen who haven't even had the opportunity to sit on a desk. Yes. But here is someone who is a student, giving that opportunity to learn, mm -hmm. having that skill, and able to uh, consistently continue mm -hmm. on what it all depends on what you love. Okay, you can force someone to, or you can force a donkey to, to the river, but you won't force it to drink. Mm. So right. if the donkey doesn't want to drink, okay, it's mm. up to the donkey to decide what do you want, okay? Yeah. So if I want to eat, I need to eat. Mm. So as parents, as the youth, we need to say, if I want to be an astronaut, mm. help me, support me, let the government be known, let it be known that there are platforms for those people. Because believe me, ask anyone from the, from the streets. They'll tell you education, health, being yeah. a policeman. Yeah, that's true. You know, on and on. So we need other things. It's, we are tired of listening to the same things. Mm -hmm. I haven't had anyone say, I, I want to start building uh, aeroplanes. <laughs> haven't had that opportunity but <laughs> all of them wants yeah, to be pirates yes pilot, eh? <laughs> imagine so we need <laughs> no one wants to think of building the actual thing uh -huh, uh -huh. everyone want wants to use what is already built you want to drive a fast car but <laughs> you can't uh, modify your corolla mm. to be running as fast as the fast car mm -hmm. okay so it's high time we stop being dependent yeah, okay and yeah. be independent okay, okay. if Okay, I would give, I don't want to give much credit to myself, but mm -hmm. basically what I do is I modify engines. Okay. okay. So I like uh, engines that are fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if uh, I modify an engine mm -hmm. that is based on someone's liking, they get to buy it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. okay. So you get an engine of uh, a, a certain car, car. Yes. then modify it to perform... In a, in a different way that someone yes. might desire. Yes. Make it bigger, yes. perhaps. Yes. Okay, yes. that's yes. quite innovative. Yes, yes. That's yes. interesting. All right, so maybe just a quick question for you, uh, Mr. Pasco. Yeah, right now I'm not forgetting the name anymore. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pasco. So um, some of the, th uh, in, in secondary schools, perhaps starting from grade 1 up to grade 12, there are so many subjects that uh, we get to learn and um, how, how has this been helping uh, students or, or, or pupils in terms of uh, skill development as well as just helping them better their futures? We have so many subjects introduced in schools. How has this been helping? 
Well, this has not been uh, that helpful. Mm -hmm. It has uh, made our education system to be very pathetic. Okay. Where we depend on uh, book-based knowledge mm -hmm. instead of uh, thinking of how things should be done. Okay. Because you, as, um, uh, as you are where you are, mm -hmm. you would dream of becoming uh, somebody. Mm -hmm. So it is based on uh, that dream that you do, prefer to go for certain courses. Okay. You cannot be given eight, nine courses, mm -hmm. and uh, you, at the end you expect to do one thing. Are you <laughs> going to be productive? The answer is no. Okay. Uh, yes. Perhaps maybe uh, you, you can add on, perhaps maybe the, the thinking of the government yes. uh, or those who actually draw the school curriculum, yes. maybe the thinking is that uh, somebody can, you do not know what this person is going to become. Perhaps if we give them a lot of subjects, maybe one of these can just be one thing that can help them. Mr. Clarius, mm. that very statement is the simple reason why Africa and mm. Zambia, to be more precise, is very poor. Mm. We are underdeveloped for this very simple belief, okay. our poor educational system. And I believe mm. there have been so many cries from different stakeholders mm. coming on board to address the issue of, of the these, curriculum. let's call them unnecessary subjects, subjects okay. that are now being employed in our syllabuses mm -hmm. or now given to us to learn. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that uh, at some point when we were growing, mm -hmm. we were given to learn about uh, homo habilis? I don't know if you remember. Yes. They yes, told us about the two sons mm -hmm. that mate and whatsoever it is, the evolution and all those. Now we should ask ourselves very simple and practical questions. To what benefits do we owe such topics? Mm -hmm. We need to be taught topics that will grow in us. Okay. Like the Chinese grow their children. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the cameras, everything that we are seeing here, are built by the Chinese? Mm -hmm. The children are the ones at 15, at 10. Mm -hmm. A child knows how to... This is Chinese made. Yes. These are made by the Chinese. Their children are the mm -hmm. ones who are making these. Okay. But if you come to Zambia, you come to realize that people of our youthful age mm -hmm. do not have a practical understanding on how to build. We want to use on what has already been built. Repairing because perhaps what has already practicality been made. Practicality in us is absent. Mm -hmm. I love the statement because he says he repairs engines. Mm -hmm. And at some point I visited his workshop and I was asking him because he was saying, ah, engine in I knock. Mm -hmm. So I had to ask him, so what do you mean? You say this engine has knocked. <laughs> so when <laughs> the engine has knocked, what do you mean? Yeah. He had to interpret it in such a way that I understood. Mm -hmm. And I had to refer that to what we are going through. I said, we, the Zambian youths, have minds that have knocked. Okay. When the engine has knocked, it's unable to function. <laughs> we, the youths, simply, I'm not saying some youths, we, yes. all of us, mm -hmm. have minds that have knocked because we have actually not been able to turn our intangible forces mm -hmm. of unborn realities into a practical form. Okay. We entirely depend, feed on what has already been created. Simply the foundation is on what we are taught while in school. So Zakusu is coming in mm -hmm. simply to strengthen the national education system. Okay. We are presenting measures, and we have actually been presenting measures mm -hmm. on the need to scrap off some of these unnecessary <laughs> subjects. <laughs> so that we yes. simply focus on what is beneficial for us Africans, us yes. Zambians. Some of these uh, subjects, Mr. Clarius, you would mm -hmm. love to know that they are not addressing any African issues. or Zambian problems. Uh -uh. Yes. We learn pr things that are meant to address American or Chinese mm -hmm. or uh, the AEU problems. Sure. But not the Zambian problems. Okay. The question that we have continued to ask is, how far can we go yeah. with the many introduced unnecessary subjects mm -hmm. in a small country like Zambia? Okay, interesting, interesting. So, Zakusu, you, you guys are bringing out a lot of uh, important points. Perhaps, uh, have you been holding uh, these, uh, some of... Um, meetings with uh, government officials, let's say the Minister of Education, uh, the, uh, the Minister who is running the Minister of Education, perhaps the Permanent Secretaries and uh, all these government officials and presenting okay. your ideas so that uh, they can be of help and uh, things w hopefully things get to change. Mr. Clarius, simply from Genesis, mm -hmm. we have had very consultative, very strong mm -hmm. consultative sessions mm -hmm. with uh, government heads 
to How has been the response? Very positive. Okay. Before the institution was formulated or enacted, mm -hmm. we had to sit with the government bodies sure, through the sure. Ministry of oh. Higher and General Education mm -hmm. to address these challenges, to say we mm -hmm. want to have a body that will seek, seek independently to address these issues. Okay. And I want to believe, uh, actually, I, I want to make this clear to everyone, mm -hmm. that the government has been very supportive. Sure. We have that received that is, that is massive really support good. from the government bodies mm -hmm. to address uh, these challenges uh, that are affecting in our different uh, communities by sections. All right, interesting. So now uh, as we are winding up, let us um, talk about what is coming on the 25th as well as the 26th. Okay, we have a conference. And uh, who do we expect to see at this conference? I uh, mean, um, we are saying this conference is going to be a platform uh, for youths to hear out uh, their, their views. Who is going to be there? Perhaps from the government side, because I'm sure most of the issues will be addressed to the government. As we, um, we are not saying everything has to be heard by the government, but youths are going to share ideas. But they should be... Uh, the, the, the big sponsor, we can say, for ideas that might come out of this meeting is the government. So who from the government is going to be there? Okay. I meant to respond. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe there's respond. SG. No, okay, respond. sure. So, uh, Mr. Clarius, mm -hmm. once again, thank you so much for the question. During this event, mm -hmm. expect to see different government heads. Okay. We're having representatives from the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Child Development. Mm -hmm. Expect to see representatives from the Ministry of Small, Medium, and Enterprises. Okay. Expect to see representatives from the Office of the Permanent Secretary. Okay. Expect to see the. So Northern this is a big it's event. A big event. Okay. Expect to see the Northern Province Minister himself. Okay. To give a speech, mm -hmm. hearing from the students, bringing out issues mm -hmm. and heighten or cohesioning mm -hmm. measures or implored measures on how best government wants to address challenges being affected or affecting our communities by sections. Okay. Expect to see uh, different school principals mm -hmm. coming on board. Expect to see businessmen and women, mm -hmm. youth cooperatives, as well as the students in all the 12 parts of uh, Northern, Northern province. province. In Northern province, we have, um, I think, eight to nine institutions. Mm -hmm. Borokoso has got two, which is in Borokoso, a school of education. We also mm -hmm. have the newly uh, formed institution called the Porokoso Nursing. Yes. In uh, Mbala, we have uh, Mbala, Mbala nursing. nursing. Expect to see St. Mary's mm -hmm. uh, School of Education as well to come on board. We cross over to Chiluvi. All we those have places. One. Expect to see Chiluvi Nursing coming on board. Okay. Come to Kasama. We expect to see Lukupa Nursing. Chingelo Kasama. Nursing. Uh, Kasama Nursing. Kasama College of Education. Sure. Bekanya College of Education. Mm -hmm. Zambia Foundation uh, for a Better Life. Expect to see Northern College of Education, sure. Lokasha Trades. We are planning to invite Isoka Trades to come on board. Mm -hmm. All these institutions will come simply to collectively and cooperatively suggest measures that yes. could be implored to address the challenges uh, Northern Province and Zambia is facing, or simply addressing the question, mm -hmm. why are we poor? Okay. Why is Northern <laughs> Province poor? Okay. Why is Northern Province... Right. Maybe, maybe not just to, to cut you short. You've yeah. talked of people coming from uh, far places. Are there logistics yeah. uh, organized by Zakosu? Yeah. Maybe somebody is coming from Luwingu. Is there a place they are going to sleep? Perhaps we are talking of this to be a two-day uh, yeah. conference. Uh, are there things like food provided to these people that are coming? And where is this event going to be? Perhaps let us start with uh, where is the event going to be? Mr. Luhanga. Okay, so basically I would give to my colleague here yeah, because, sure. you okay. know, we have uh, how things work. Okay. Okay, okay. so okay. basically he's in a good position. To sure, explain. sure. Maybe he just... So yes. Thank you so much, leadership. Mm -hmm. So um, addressing the issue of logistics. Yes. All the institutions, Mr. Mm -hmm. Clarius, mm -hmm. are putting resources together. Okay. Embracing the spirit of Ujama. Yes. The great spirit of Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. No man is an island. Okay. In order for uh, national or provincial development or economic development to be realized, mm -hmm. we are saying everyone should play simply a basic function in order to see this great imagined event mm -hmm. coming into a practical form. Yes. We have formed all the institutions and everyone has agreed.
mm-hmm. every institution out there, every institution that I've addressed here, yes, is going to put in a certain amount. Okay. Collectively, or putting the resources together, and we send their we w- w- will actually sit in a position mm-hmm. to host this uh, monumental event okay. for the very first time in Northern Province okay. to address these challenges that the youths and the students and the communities, to be more precise, mm-hmm. uh, to more to be more precise, are going through. All right. So uh, for institutions, it's the institution mm. that is going to provide well, logistics yes. for the people they are going to send uh, exactly. to this conference. Exactly. What about people uh, like uh, myself <laughs> and, and as an individual? Because uh, uh, this is not just for yeah. for schools. It's yeah. also for youths. For, for youths, exactly. Yes. So like we have said, every mm. uh, youth cooperative institution mm. is going to put in simply a small honorarium, okay. a small amount mm. just to heighten or, um, you know, help us accelerate the development mm. of uh, the activities that will be taking place okay. on that particular day. We are not entirely depending on the government. Yes. We are saying every businessman out there, mm. every company, every company existing mm. in Northern Province yes. should come on board and help us have this event. Mm. So if you have uh, an institution like Luno TV, yes. we are simply coming to Luno TV and saying, please, our management, we are simply <laughs> asking that yes. you come on board to pr- create a platform mm. that you should uh, capture what will be happening for At our brothers moment. and sisters in Shangombo, mm. in Dundumwezi, mm. in Batoka, and other parts of the country. To be see able to what, view and see what, what is what happening. Youths uh, are doing in mm. Northern Province. All if right. we have a company like uh, uh, Fubest or ShopRite mm. in Northern Province, these companies will come on board and say, oh, if not to a mensh, can you run a mensh? Oh, okay. Biscuits okay. To facilitate, also help out uh, mm. during uh, that the period the you'll the be event. having the event. Okay. So simply we are... Wh- where is the event going to be? The event will be taking place at Sinamo Lodge. Sinamo Lodge, okay. Sinamo Lodge. Is is uh, is the the, the 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 venue perhaps big enough for the, to accommodate the, 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 all these the, people? The, the venue is big enough. If it is not big enough, we are likely to change, and all the institutions, okay. all the institutions will be informed. All right. Two weeks, uh, two weeks before the event. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe as we wind up, perhaps your your last words, uh, because we are running out of time. Perhaps your last words to to the viewers out there in relation to what will be happening. Okay. Uh, my last words are that uh, uh, the viewers out there mm-hmm. are invited mm-hmm. to be part and parcel of uh, this uh, important event because it is uh, from this event that mm-hmm. we we'll get to know a lot of things sure. in, uh, th- th- that has caused us to, be, to remain behind, so mm-hmm. to say. So let us all be geared and uh, attend this program. Okay, Mr. Luhanga. Your last words to the viewer, to the viewers out there. Okay, so what I would advise everyone and uh, everyone in the government, every human being, saying, please attend this workshop. Please help out how you can. We are not restricting anyone. Anyone, please help out. And whatever effort you'll be putting in, you highly appreciate. All right, all yes. right. Mr. Thomas, finally, your last words to the viewers out there. To the viewers, I am simply confined in belief to mm. understand that you are a true Zambian. You are a patriotic Zambian. You are a leader who is willing to help uh, realize economic uh, development in Zambia and at provincial level. Mm. We are asking every member out there who is listening to the sound of our voices to come on board and heighten cohesion and strengthen every measure that has been employed, preliminarily planned or instituted or injected for the sole purpose of hosting this event. We are doing all this through the great spirit of Ujama, okay. the great spirit of Ubuntu, togetherness. If we say Zakusu wants to host this event, mm-hmm. we alone are not going to make it. Sure, We need true. you and everyone here to come on board to collectively and cooperatively be able to turn the intangible or intangible forces mm-hmm. of the unborn uh, realities into a practical form. Sure, sure. Last but not the least, we are simply telling every member out there that the qualities of your life will simply never be better than the risks that you're willing to take. Because the risks 
that you and I refuse to take today actually might be the decisions that we all of us are going to regret tomorrow. Let us hold hands together and be able to turn the impossibilities into a possibilities and the possibilities into a probability and the probability itself into a fact. Last, we are simply thanking you, the Lunar Management team, sure, for sure. according us again a rare latitude to be here to speak to the huge concourse, the compact majoritarian, addressing what we'll be doing on the 25th and 26th of February 2022, and also hi highlight on what are the challenges that Zambia and the, the province itself has been going through. Sure, sure. We Thank you so best. much. Thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming through. I believe uh, you've heard what uh, these gentlemen have uh, spoken about. And uh, I hope you guys out there, uh, the youths, and I'm sure you've heard that this is not just restri uh, restricted to students, but as well, uh, it's an open thing for every youth out there to air out their concerns to air out their views bring out ideas that uh, will help northern province and uh, kasama and all other districts surrounding northern province from me and the entire production crew it's a uh, goodbye for today we show you how the face of kasama has changed each and every moment our production crew has now advanced in streaming live in full hd up to 4k lono studios is well equipped for the service we have 4k cameras for high resolution dji drone for aerial view live streaming video switcher gimbal for smooth rotation of an object and many more equipments you can book us for live streaming Lono Studios cares about your memories and what better way to keep your memories than having pictures and videos. As Lono Studios, we cover events such as weddings, kitchen parties, chilanga murilo, birthday parties, as well as corporate events. If you are looking for quality pictures and videos for such events, look no further than Lono Studios. Visit and like our Facebook page at LonoZM. We show you how the face of Kasama has changed each and every moment. Our production crew has now advanced in streaming live in full HD up to 4K. Lono Studios is well equipped for the service. We have 4K cameras for high resolution, DJI drone for aerial view, live streaming video switcher, gimbal for smooth rotation of an object and many more equipments. You can book us for live streaming to render your services in sport activities, church services, road shows, corporate meetings and workshops, social gatherings and many more adventure activities. Book your session now on 0973-173461. Visit or like our Facebook page at Lono, Lono Studios cares about your memories and what better way to keep your memories than having pictures and videos. As Lono Studios, we cover events such as weddings, kitchen parties, chilanga murilo, birthday parties, as well as corporate events. If you are looking for quality pictures and videos for such events, look no further than Lono Studios.